Hi techies, in this video I am just going to explain few more SQL queries which are very very important for SQL interview as well as Informatica interview. So let's start, if you see my screen I have a source table like this, I have an employee table and in this I have employed, employee name, department ID and hide it. These are my columns in the employee table but my first question is like this, write an SQL query to retrieve all records from an employee table and this question may ask like this also, write an SQL query to retrieve alternate records from an employee table okay so if you see my expected result set this is um, uh, i have to write an sql query to get a uh, result like this second one so in this i have uh, employee id uh, employee name and department id hired all columns which are there in the employee table i have to retrieve but if you take the records i have only four records in the my result set because i have to take only odd records from the employee table uh, odd records means if you take uh, employee id 1002 this is my first record in the employee table and 1001 third record 1005 it's a fifth record in employee table 1008 it's seventh record 1357 this is the order so this uh, order of sequence is nothing but it's um, odd right so based on the um, existing order in the employee table uh, on that particular order we need to calculate the that record is odd record or even record we are not going to change order of this employee table based on any field by sorting only whatever we have uh, same order we are going to follow okay so if you see my screen i have an employee table like this okay i already created an employee table whatever i explained earlier same as it is i just created in this my mysql database now i'm just going to write a select query to get the odd records okay so i'm just going to write a select emp id and employee name and department id so i required these columns higher date in my output result because i'm just going to write another sub query that's why i'm just specifically mentioning the names uh, i mean column names here and now i'm just going to write you no know, here another select query select a star and row num row number i'm using to get the sequence of this records okay here this is one of the analytical function in MySQL. So I'm just using over order by. Actually, we have to give something here because it's, you know, in row number, we have to mention uh, something to satisfy the syntactic thing. So I'm just giving here select null. I'm, I don't want to change the order of the employee table records. Okay, just I'm just giving select null so that it's just going to satisfy the syntactic functionality of this row number, but it's not going to, you know, change the order. There is no impact on the order of sequence. Now, I'm taking this row number as sequence. Okay, so SQ I'm just giving. And now I'm just taking this total select query as some name, but before that, I just mentioned this employee table. So I'm just giving some alias for this select sub query. Okay. Now uh, I'm just going to use here where condition. Already we uh, calculated, I mean, we, we are getting row number from the inner query so that i'm just going to mention this in the where condition the logic of order order even so we can use rn sorry sequence this is our uh, you know um, row number right okay so sequence divided by 2 equals to 1 that that is the odd logic then enter so we got the result as it is okay whatever i have explained same data we got in the output 1002 first record 1001 
um, third record 1005 fifth record 1008 seventh record like this we got you know as it is odd records whatever uh, data in the sequence whatever the uh, sequence uh, in the employee table in that same order in that same sequence we are we got the odd records now there is another way here so instead of sequence even we can use here sorry instead instead of percentage we can use here mod also okay so mod of sequence the column we have to pass and divided by 2 right so just comma 2 if we give then this will also work and if we want if you want even then here instead of 1 we have to give 0 so we'll get even records okay but i'm just going to give here 1 only but now i'm just going to give here instead of select null i'm just going to use just null okay so we got as it is the data so this is also another way so and another another way also there like uh, from mysql 8.0 version all uh, 0 8.0 version onwards we got and the thing like this also like we if we are not going to give anything in the over also it's just going to take okay okay this is only after uh, mysql 8.0 version onwards we got this type of syntactic okay if we are not giving any order by also row number is going to execute okay the next question is what is the difference between the rank and a dense rank in SQL? If you see my screen, I already created one salary table in this. I have employee ID, employee name, salary. These are my columns for this salary table. Now I am just going to apply rank on salary in a, a descending order because I need highest salary as first rank. Okay. We'll see first rank function and then we'll go for dense rank. We'll see what is the difference between the rank and dense rank. Okay. First, I'm just applying rank analytical function on, you know, salary, order by salary. I'm just, I'm not taking any partition by just I'm going to take order by on salary in descending order. Okay. I'm just giving rank as RN. This is my alias name for the rank and from salary so if you see rank rank function uh, sorry rank column so the highest salary is 79000 it is it is given first rank shiva is the person who is having highest salary okay who is the highest employee salary is shiva and he is having 79,000. This is the first rank. And then Karthik, Siva, Shravan, these three people have second highest salary, 28,000. That's why it's just given rank as two for these three members. And if you see Kirti, this is third highest. But here, if you see rank, it's just given five because um, we got two uh, second rank. We have repeated records, right? So two times we have repeated records for the second rank uh, that's why it just skipped two sequence uh, in the rank and uh, it just skipped three four and it just given five and sai as it is um, because uh, as it is it, it is the lowest salary that's why it just given six we don't have any repeated records for kirti the i mean sorry uh, salary 21000 that's why it just uh, given six in the sequence okay now I am going to apply dense rank for this. Okay. Instead of rank, I am just using dense rank function. We will see what is the difference. So if you see rank, I have here 1, 2, 2, 2, which is same as it is, you know, earlier. Now uh, from Kirti record, it just given 3. Rank is 3. Okay. For 1001 employee ID. 
and earlier if you take rank function it just given 5 it just skip the ranks but here uh, dense rank it, it is not skipped any rank in the sequence only it just given if any repeated number of uh, I mean rank uh, rec uh, ranks we have it, it is not going to skip that uh, it just given in the sequence and if you see psi as it is it just given 4 okay after 3 we got 4 right and this is the what difference between the rank and dense rank the next question is write a select query to get third highest salary from salary table so i have already salary table like this okay on this i am just going to write a select query to get third highest salary and I'm just selecting here salary only. I don't require all the fields. Okay. This time I'm using here from. And I'm just using here select star. This is inner query. And I'm just using dense rank. Okay. Over. Order by. Salary. DESC descending order and as alias I am just giving with some R okay from salary okay just I am giving some alias as uh, some will give salary one okay Just alias for this inner query and now I am just giving here where condition and in where condition I am using r equals to 3 so this is how to write a select query to get the third highest if you check the employee table First highest is 79,000 and then we have uh, second highest 28,000 and then third highest is 21,000. So we got third highest salary, right? Yeah. The next question is write an SQL query to display numbers from 1 to 100. Okay. So in Oracle we have level. So select level from jewel connect by level less than or equals to 100. If you write this query in Oracle then we will get 1 to hundred numbers okay we can display one to hundred numbers but this level is not there in mysql so i am just going to use a recursive ctu to get to display this one to hundred numbers i'll show you how to write the query in mysql to get one to hundred numbers okay so now i'm going to write mysql query to display one to hundred numbers okay for this i'm using recursive ctu so I'm just creating recursive CT. So I'm just taking number here. Okay. And I'm just writing as okay. This is now body. Okay. Now I'm writing body. Select one union all. This is first select. Okay. It just returns one union all and I am writing another select here just one plus number I am using and from CTE okay this is a recursive case okay this is going to be execute till number is less than 100 okay so for every every time it's just going to increment one for previous value so we'll get uh, if suppose it's n the number is a hundred means it's just going to end recursive execution is going to end uh, till that it's just going to execute that many times here uh, we are giving number less than 100 right based on this condition it's just going to execute if it's satisfied just execute or if it's not satisfied means it, it just come out from the loop okay recursive calling now here i'm just going to 
uh, I mean complete this recursive statement recursive CTE now I'm just going to just call this CTE so I'm just taking number okay number from CTE and here I'm just doing order by because we need to display 1 to 100 in order right just I am taking order by number okay let's see okay if you see my screen I got 1 to 100 numbers right the next query is write an SQL query to print the below pattern if you see my screen I have a pattern like this in this my first row contains one star and second row contains two stars third row three stars fourth row four stars and fifth row five stars like this we have to print the pattern we have to display the pattern using select sql query okay so i'm going to write my sql query here for printing that pattern to display that pattern okay so first i am taking here recursive ct okay and here again number I'm taking this logic is same as it is whatever I explained in earlier okay to print 1 to 100 numbers and here I'm just taking as and here I'm just taking select one union all I hope you remember this logic I'm not going to explain again okay select here we have to mention one plus number okay uh, I'm just going to uh, use from CT because it's recursive and here I'm just keeping where and here just I'm going to use here number less than or equals to 4 okay or you can give less than 5 also but I'm just going to give less than or equals to 4 and now here I'm just going to end this and I'm writing select to call this number but here I'm just using lpad function and I'm just passing string star and uh, here I'm just using number how many uh, I mean this is length okay and, and then I'm just passing star again this is pad okay now I'm just going to use from CT okay see so like this we have to write the logic okay I just use the recursive CT for printing the uh, numbers sorry for getting the uh, numbers 1 to you know 5 and after that I just use that number in LPAD so length uh, I'm just passing number so this LPAD here we are passing first argument as a star so this is a string okay but this is string it's just going to append the third argument like a string again we are passing if this a uh, number is less than the length of the first string okay number here is nothing but its length of, uh, length its length okay so the first string like uh, first argument we are passing star right so the size is 1 okay length is 1 okay this is less than this number then it's just going to append how many times it's less than this okay that many positions in left side is just going to add the third argument okay the third uh, string or character whatever we are passing in the third argument of LPAD so in the first uh, row so the number which is coming from the recursive CT is 1 okay that time this star length is 1 right the first argument length is 1 1 is matching with the 1 okay length so it's, it's not going to append the star as it is it's just going to print the first argument and if you take second row at that time number is 2 so it's just going to increment uh, from CT okay just number is 2 and that time the length of the first argument star is 1 and number here the length is 2 okay so 
1 is less than 2, right? So, how many numbers? 1. Okay, the difference is 1. Okay, so now the uh, one position left side is just going to append the third argument that is star. Okay, that's why we got two stars. And the sec third row, again the number is 3. So, first is... Uh, first one is one only length, okay. First string one only length. One is less than three, and the difference is uh, two. Le lengthwise, the difference is two, okay. So two stars is just going to pad left side, okay. That is the logic behind here. Like this, it will continue till five rows, okay. The next query is write an SQL query to print the below pattern okay so if you see here pattern is like this we have one first row is having one second row is two two third row is three 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 fourth row is four 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 four, four. So we have okay like this till five rows we have to print the pattern okay i'm just going to write my sql query for this same query now i'm going to use for this also but little bit change okay I'm just going to paste the same query, but here instead of star, I'm just going to sign number as a first argument. Okay, actually, my system is a little bit slow. Okay, it just became a little bit slow now, only slow. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's reacting after some time. So this is the pattern, okay? So we got it right as expected, this pattern. Just instead of stars, I'm just sending number here. Here also number. So we got this pattern. You understood the logic, right? So this is the query, okay? Thank you for watching.